at this event, I decided to go here. But if I had gone right, which I was trying to decide, if I had just, I would have been, I would have caught him then. And then I went here and I was an hour late for this biter. That it's, it's little minute decisions. And that I think is what's so frustrating for the angler. Good morning, welcome back. We are about to head on the water here this morning. We've got a 5.30 on the water time, 5.45 first lines in. Uh, this is stop number two, Great Lakes Kayak Series. Uh, we are the Wolf and Fox River today. Looks like we're gonna be starting our day off with uh, some precipitation, a little bit of rain on the way here. and. It looks like we're, we're covered in rain right now, so it's going, be a, it's going to be a wet start to the day, but it should be a pretty good day. There's going to be, I think, a chance at a lot of fish. The only thing that we're going to battle with a lot throughout the day today, I think it's going to be kind of the X factor in this tournament, is the white bass run is at peak here uh, in this stretch of the Wolf and Fox Rivers, and there's going to be a lot of boats on the water considering it's a weekend. They're going to be out fishing for white bass, so uh, it's dealing with boat traffic or boats on spots or areas that we may want to get to as anglers, so that's going to be all a big part of the challenge is dealing with the uh, the boat traffic, which the guy at uh, Chico's Landing, shout out to those guys who I, I'm dropping in here today, he said, you're putting your life in your own hands in that thing out there, referring to the people that are going to be on the water, so you something to look forward to, or I should say, look out for throughout the day, so, so uh, follow along, we're going to get set up and get on the water here. I mean, not the target species, but uh, I guess we'll have a little little dinner with it. There you go. Number two. Stupid things. Feeling I'm gonna be picking up and running up forever because this is just uh, gonna be all white bass in here. I started down and started working my way back up, and it's just been nothing white bass. I'm like, oh, I gotta go to a plan B. Yeah. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, you guys too. What's that? No, I'm just gonna. Thank you. Yeah, I was gonna pull those down. Wait, these guys are on Not after white bass, that's all I'm gonna catch here. So we're gonna pick up and run some Oh, you ain't fishing the right spot. Oh, not walleye. This is bass. Smallmouth. Yeah, so I'm gonna find smallmouth mixed in here, but. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head up, uh, get up to like, was it partridge or whatever there? Hey, uh, Nick, it's, uh, it's Sean Ritter. I, I kind of screwed up today. Um, I got on the water and I forgot to check in, um, on tourney X before I went, I didn't catch any fish. So I had nothing to register anything. I just realized I was coming off the water to move to trailer up and move to a different area. Um, but I realized crap, I never checked in. So I just want to let you know that's what happened. I'm in, um, I will check in next time I get to a spot. 
or maybe I'll check in now just to pounce and show them in. But yeah, so I don't know if anything needs to be done with that, but uh, I screwed up and didn't check in. So that's where we're at and uh, we'll see you at weigh-in. All right, so like I've never been a gatekeeper, so um, obviously I, I fished out. I mentioned Chico's Landing. I was all in here and I fished kind of this channel swing. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to move to next. Do I stay with the whole river again and move up here and fish like Fremont into Partridge, or do I like all the way back in this Winnebago system? I just I don't know what to do. I've fished this whole Winnebago chain a lot. A lot of largemouth can be caught in there, but it's just going to cost so much time. I just I don't know, feel like maybe just burn in the river and just seeing what happens might be my best bet and stay here and this may be the tournament it may be over but uh, that's what it's about is learning lessons so i i don't know i think that's something to do what what would you do would you go like try and fish largemouth down i mean you got to drive a long ways to get to it or just run up and i don't know all right so we uh made the move up river we're gonna keep working our way up. you can see the boat traffic is <laughs> bonkers this is just crazy it only cost us about an hour and a half total time of everything load, unload, move back. So we're going to cruise along and uh, you know, see if we can stay out of the white bass and maybe get one on the board because we have to get that at this point. We're going to go fish a little rock wall situation, but um, I'm almost a little early for this. But wifey always packs peanut butter and jelly sandwich for me, and I've been hauling a lot, so today we're going to. We're gonna dig into the first one for the run. There it is. Fish your fish. That's something I say all the time, kind of like my own little slogan of just like, you do you, you be you, fish your style, fish your fish. So I'm gonna go eat this Sammy and we're gonna boogie. Let's see how the rock will. back here again and I am just absolutely riding the struggle bus. <laughs> All right, now I'm finally out of the weeds. And it's a little more clear at this rock wall. I'm gonna bust out uh, the old big swim bait. I've been wanting to throw a swim bait all day today. I figure white bass are not gonna hit swim bait, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, kind of cool. So I've got Exxon Swammer in the white pearl. What I've done to rig this up, I've got a five aught weighted hook, but then I put an extra stinger. It's just a Yamagatsu, just treble hook. Put the one side in there, so you've got obviously the hook up top and the stinger on the back. You have to just hit back on it. And throwing it on the uh, PC Fun Alley Jaws. This is the uh, it was an 8 1 to 1, the faster gear ratio. You can only be able to throw this and quick rip it out. So. Just gonna ride it a little bit below the surface. Let's sink for a second because it's got kind of a tail wobble in the sink. Up. I mean, these reels just are awesome. If you want to check out any of the PC Fun stuff, I've actually got a link posted below. Uh, and you can save 50% on everything. Everything on the site. Tackle bags, reels, they have everything. Uh, SR15 is the code you want to use. 
I feel like this is <laughs> the entire day's tournament coverage. It was, it's just staring at my knees. Because <laughs> it is pedal, pedal, pedal into the current. I will say I love this boat. It is fantastic, but uh, river and current fishing situations probably not the best. Might have to put a motor on it. Let's try not to do that at all costs. But when you got a fish in tournaments like this, it's you're at an extreme disadvantage, I feel, with current like this without having a motor to help you. Just stay in one spot. All right, y'all, so um, <laughs> still riding the struggle bus, still riding the zero. We may actually blank in this tournament. This may be the first skunk in a tournament that I've ever had. Uh, I actually just ran two of the guys fishing tournament with me and they're both sitting on a skunk as well. So I just feel like everybody that came to fish the river has got nothing going on. And uh, again, I'm just, you know, I could sit out there and try and catch white bass, but that's not what I'm fishing for. So now it's backwater area. It's only about two feet deep, but there's lots of these like great piece of cane for summertime like I'd definitely be in here I think if nothing else pike are in here maybe I can stumble into a bass so I'm just gonna run around in here and I'm gonna throw the giant swim bait and that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the day because at this point I mean I just we're gonna try but you know we've got about an hour and a half left and I just don't know if that's enough time to put five quality fish in the boat so you know we're not gonna score good points for angle of the year this week but we get to drop one so this uh this can be the drop. And again, just throwing that X Zone Mega Swammer with a uh, heavy rod, six foot heavy rod, and the Kiki Fun Alley Jong. Game plan. All right, y'all, that's going to do it. Lines out. We are done very poor performance my worst tournament ever i can't believe i'm riding a skunk but it was uh it was tough i mean battling not only the current but also the rivers loaded with white bass and then all of the boats on the water it's just it, it really became tough um spent the last like two ish hours just throwing a giant swim bait because i thought you know what at this point i'm just gonna throw what i wanted to throw so um again shout out pc fun that was oh, what a swim bait reel oh my gosh it's awesome eight one to one this thing is great throwing the Mega Swammer on a 5 aught weighted hook. So that was all we did. Actually missed uh, two fish. I think they just swiped at the tail. So they're either smaller or I'm guessing just pike swinging at it. Um, all the bait threw a lot today. Sartreus White Spinner Bait. Again, PC Fun, uh, seven, five to one. This is the Alloy M. Um, Carbon X was the Ned Rig with the XO. And Stealth Invader on a Ned Rig. These things are awesome. Oh, let's see. What else do we have with us today? Uh, we were throwing... Whoop. We were throwing Rocco, Square Bill. And uh, a little Chatterbait action, but we no longer have that Chatterbait because... Snaggy, snaggy. And we had to break it off. So we're going to head back, trailer up head to weigh in and uh, hang our heads, maybe have a beverage. We'll uh, catch you back in the truck.